Terrors told us so. We have no hopes. I could get that in the tail of Dark Knight and we now stairs. What? What do you mean we can't hear you? What? You go off the dentist. Who did you take off the dentist? Alright. <sighs> what, you guys couldn't, you guys couldn't understand me? Alright, today's toy spot, <laughs> we're having a look, <laughs> that was one of the worst jokes ever spot. Today we're having a look at the Mattel, The Dark Knight Rises, Movie Masters, Bane. Bane does include... Spot's still shaking his head over that horrible joke. Don't worry, when I edit it, I'm going to make my voice a lot clearer. No, I'm not. I'm still going to include it. Today, uh, the Bane does come with a collect and connect piece to the bat signal. So if you have been wondering your whole life, when or when, when or when, what is that? that makes no sense, when we're going to get ourselves a bat signal we now finally are getting a bat signal. On the back of the package, with authentic detail, deluxe articulation, and supreme quality, the Movie Masters line offers fans the premium collecting experience. True to scale, these figures are expertly crafted to ensure the highest standards for your collection. You can see that three pieces are included, at least as pictured here. Omitted, of course, is the uh, the lower base that came with the Catwoman, as well as the front and back piece, one of which will be coming with a repack, a re-release of uh, of James Gordon, Commissioner Gordon, and um, and then we have an unknown character, which I think the unknown character is basically um, um, Gordon Josh, what's his name, Lewitt, Levitt, I think it's probably going to be his character. Um, but uh, collect all six to build a bat signal projector. You can see figures on the side here. We've got a Dark Knight Rises Batman, which is was basically just a Dark Knight uh, Movie Masters Batman. Of course, Bane and Alfred Pennyworth. Figures may not stand as shown, each sold separately, subject to availability. Colors and decorations may vary. You can also go to www.mattelshop.com for not only these figures, but other figures made by Mattel. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Bane. Stay tuned. And the Collect and Connect piece that comes with Bane is the stand that holds the, basically the light of the bat signal. It's a circular piece. If we bring in the other pieces, so far we've only covered two figures. The Catwoman was the lower base that came with also the Switch. Batman, the Dark Knight Batman or Dark Knight suit Batman, if you will, uh, did come with the upper second, I guess, second tier platform. So we're basically going to take the Bane's piece and snap it into place. There you have it. Three pieces down. This rotates as well. So when we do actually have, I mean, that, it's so far looking a like a pretty substantial sized piece. Again, I can't wait to get those other figures. It's just a shame that they're going to but from the looks of it, it looks like Jim Gordon is, uh, what, a Walmart exclusive? I don't even know what the last figure, you know, whether he's going to be local retail or not, or if he's going to be basically one of those chase figures that we hunt all over eBay for, we pay $100 a, a pop for. I really hope that's not the case, because I definitely want to review all of them for you. Um, but so far, so good. Looks pretty decent indeed. We're going to move that off camera. Well, let's have a look at Bane. Now you know my thoughts. If you are new to the channel, you probably have no idea. You're like, who is this guy? What is he reviewing? You had me, you you really had me uninterested by that stupid thing you did at the beginning of the video. But uh, for everybody that does follow this channel, I am very much a Bane fan. I loved Bane all the way back in the day, back way, way back in the day, Nightfall series. Of course, Bane has progressed through the time. He's had some trips, some falls. Jeep Swanson. Oh, Bane. Let's try to get that memory of Bane out of our heads. Ugh. Batman Forever was horrible. 
But now we finally get ourselves a, a, a true, basically a true Bane to, to Batman in the new incarnation of Bane. I think he looks awesome. I was a little on the fence. I was a little on the fence with the whole notion of the mask. I would have preferred the Luchador mask initially, but I think this figure's, well, not this figure, but I think this character's mask has definitely grown on me. The figure itself is pretty good. There are a few hiccups, one of which uh, has been commented on a couple of times. Uh, you'll see that there is a, a line, basically, where it looks like two halves of the head have been put together. One back part of the head, and I, you could say it's, it's where he's shaved his head, but it's definitely, it definitely looks like it, it clearly cuts off at that line, and then the flesh color at the front is a little, it's a little different in color than that of the back. Doesn't really bother me too much. I certainly know, having looked at some of the Banes that were sitting in the aisles, uh, you really have to be picky with which Bane you grab. I happen to have lucked out and I got myself a pretty good Bane where paint quality is, doesn't seem to be much of an issue. But I have seen some real disasters, some real train wrecks, where uh, some of the paint have, has been just sloppily, I'm sure it's a word, sloppily been put on the figure. Again, the mask, he kind of looks like a bearded walrus. I don't know if I've coined that term or not. I'm sure somebody else has. Um, we pan back. The one thing I'm still on the fence with, I love, I mean, I love this jacket. I love the open, this kind of fur coat that he wears. It, it's very big, brooding. It only makes him look just like a beast. Um, underneath, though, Maybe if I see it in the movie, I may not mind it as much, but uh, I don't know if I really like the coloring of this vest that he wears. I assume it is a vest from the, the pictures. Uh, this vest kind of looks like, I don't know. Um, it, it almost looks like he should have himself a Stein at Oktoberfest. He's got himself some belts going on there, some gray pants. He's got some combat kind of military style boots. I mean, as a, as a whole, the design of Bane is definitely a change from what we've gotten in the past. But I think it is, is a very good change that uh, I, I don't mind. I definitely don't mind. Uh, the paint, again, I've mentioned it already, but the paint on this figure is pretty clean. Some figures haven't been the greatest. So I would say if you are going to be picking up this figure, um, I would say just... Have a look at some of the figures. Don't just grab the first one and make your way to the, the cash register. You want to make sure that the paint is generally clean. Um, the jacket is open. You could take the jacket off again, but he does always... He basically has the same problem as every other jacketed figure in the fact that these sleeves would still be jacket sleeves. So you could take this off. Unfortunately, you're not going to get you know, a, a true uh, unjacketed version of Bane. I would love to see Mattel. I mean, Mattel, you know, we, we know what Mattel's like when it comes to uh, repacking and reproducing existing molds. Surely there's money to be made here if they want to just reuse this body mold and then just give them different arms and just have an unjacketed version of Bane. I'm sure not only myself, but other collectors would probably go and pick them up. Now, I don't know if this line is going to end with the collect and connect bat signal wave, and then after that they're just going to stop the, the Dark Knight uh, Rises Movie Masters figures, but I kind of hope they do continue it a bit and we get several different variations. Maybe a, even a bloodied Batman, you know. We've already got ourselves a shirtless Bane that comes with a two-pack with Batman. I'm on the fence with how, how kind of blubbery, I don't want to say blubbery, that's a horrible word, but uh, how unmuscular that figure seems to look. But maybe once I get, if I do eventually pick it up, uh, maybe it might grow on me. Now, in the way of Bane's articulation, he does kind of have some few hindrances here and there. His, his head does rotate left and right, but unfortunately, because the way that the back of the mask is sculpted, which I don't know if you can see past the collar here, his head doesn't really go up. Um, it doesn't really even go down either. It basically just moves left and right. Would have liked to have had a little more flexibility with the head that you could have actually had it moving a little further down. Maybe he could have been more brooding. 
Um, his shoulders on a pin and socket, as you can see right there. They do rotate all the way around. Uh, there is surprisingly now this is it, this actually caught me off guard. There's no there's no swivel or anything in the forearm. It's basically just a bend in the elbow. A bit odd, really. It's a bit odd for a movie master's figure to not have that swivel. Um, he does have a rotation in the wrist, though. He does have a rotation in the waist, as you can see right there. He has an upper torso bend. Now, you can't really do too much because this jacket kind of hinders a lot of it. His legs do bend forward and back, out, rotation in the thigh, a bend at the knee, and of course that standard bend in the foot. A pretty good figure, a pretty good figure. I mean, you know, fan-wise, fan-wise, some people don't actually like this design of Bane. I won't lie to you, Spot was really, when he initially saw the design of Bane, I'm thinking, oh my god, he looks like a bearded walrus. But uh, the, the, figure, the figure and the character has grown on me quite a bit. I'm still liking the luchador style Bane, but I gotta say, this is a pretty good modern update to Bane. If you can find him, I would say, and you're a Bane fan, you definitely would want to pick him up. Uh, the Movie Masters Bane, I am going to give him an 8.5. Pretty good detail, and uh, as, far as, I, uh, as far as I know, still pretty easy to find in stores. Maybe once the movie comes out, this guy will be, be picked up a lot more. He might be a little harder to find by then, but uh, try to pick him up now if you can, before the movie hits. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mattel, The Dark Knight Rises, Movie Masters, Bane. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see you guys next time.